Welcome back to CYM Saturdays, but before we dive into the action I must tell you of some major changes to the promotion winning side of last season. Several players have gone including last season's captain, Shankill, who has transferred to another club for an undisclosed fee. We also say goodbye to the man that drove us to promotion, our manager Richard Murphy resigned from the club, in order to pursue a wife in next year's Love Island, both will be sadly missed. Right enough of the soppy bollocks and let's get to it, today is our first game in the premiere, so every game will be tough, today we are up against 3rd Bangor, an established premier league team. Our lineup today consists of Dodge and Nets, new guy Ryan, Bernardo, Brandon and Ricky at the back, a midfield of new signings Marcus Clegg and Matty Ferguson, with more so in there also. Up top we have Bennett Lee, Rainbow Boots and last season's top goal scorer Dictionary Dave. On the bench we have Johnny Parker, Hacker and Randy Adair. Johnny Betts takes his first competitive game in charge of the club. The thought of Premier League football has got the boys excited, so excited that Bernardo's nipples are hard. Kick off. After last year's great season in Division 1 the boys can't wait to get at the teams in the Premier. Every game is gonna be deadly, but the boys are up for it. And start the game strong with some neat play by Matty Ferguson and Morso. Matty picking up Bennett Lee with an incredible ball. Lee took it well, before forcing a good save from the keeper. The clearance only went as far as Matty, who had a dig from about 30 yards. Good effort, hold on there. Third's first attempt came from a corner. Big lad should have done better. More neat play from the CYN as we made our way up the pitch. The attack was eventually cleared by our opponents. But Bennett Lee after hearing his manager shout back and went too far and nearly sent the lad back onto being bottle fed. This resulted in a yellow card for the crayon, a decision that would put a target on his back for the rest of the game. Not to be outdone, third's captain decided he wanted to play cards as well with a woeful tackle. With the game getting a bit tasty, third began to get into dangerous areas, the ginger striker doing well to set up the baldy bloke, whose effort was unlucky. The deadlock was eventually broke not long after, a long ball to the ginger, was at first well defended by Ricky who then followed it up with a dodgy pass straight to an orange shirt. Trying to make up for his error, Ricky sprinted to clear the ball, unluckily it's Matt right of the boy and straight to the ginger ninja lurking in the box, his finish was emphatic, 1 mil to third. With the CYN looking for the equalizer we were open on the break, third began to find spaces behind, and in a good move the ginger ninja was free again. Third were very direct and the CYN continued to work the ball patiently from the back, in a nice move we made it into a dangerous area, but the final ball was just not there. Talking about balls, Bennett Lee was getting frustrated by the guy marking him inappropriately touching him up. Talking about being perverted, the ginger ninja completely ruins Brandon with a filthy bit of skill. Luckily Dodge was there to make the save. The rebound was then blazed over, still 1-0. Time for Carodor to attack now, Bennett Lee with a deadly touch, that was eventually cleared for a corner. The resulting corner gave new signing Maka a chance, to score on his debut, but his header went wide. 
we began to put the pressure on and the third captain tried to put a halt to it by putting a halt to our player's life. This resulted in his second yellow, so he was off. Straight after we get a chance, Bernaldo with his chance to prove his goal scoring prowess that he keeps banging on about. The boys began to stroke the ball about with confidence still looking for the equalizer, more so unlucky with his effort. Now for the move of the game, the boys playing great football, but just couldn't find the final ball in this half. And with that the ref called half time on an even game. The second half started as the first ended with Carodor controlling the possession, playing neat football. Now though they were getting into more dangerous areas, more so unlucky again. Some good battling from the boys and new signing Ryan, who played a nice 1-2 before being played in. This move was stopped dead by a terrible tackle from the defender, who was lucky to stay on. From the resulting free kick Matter had another chance to score on his debut, the keeper making a good save. Eventually third managed to attack us, but it was defended well, and the CYM broke with Morser, who guided a lovely ball into the path of Matty Ferguson. Who slotted it home with ease, one each. With the scores level the CYN could smell blood in the match was for the taking. A great ball by Matty found Dictionary Dave, who done well to get a shot off. The game was becoming stretched, and we began to get into more attacking situations. Rainbow boots with an effort here. Carador at this point were the only team that looked like scoring. Full of energy the boys probed, Matty with a long range effort that hit of the post. Having watched his midfield partner come close more so thought he would have a bang from distance. With Carodor pressing, third's only chances came from long pumps up the pitch, Dodge doing well here. We too had some joy from playing it long, Matty having a go here, when he maybe should have squared it. We cut them open once more, this time cut boy Johnny Parker getting in behind the defense to set up rainbow boots. Then Matty has another go that was well saved. With all our missed chances we knew that a kick in the ballocks was on the cards, and here it is from a hopeful lump up the pitch. Oh, no. 2-1 to 3rd. Oh, no. That goal shook the boys and minutes later things got worse, so sloppy defending, and another lump up the pitch, made it 3-1 to our opponents.
The score didn't stay that way for long though as more so urged the boys on. Some nice play eventually seen him slot one by the keeper to make it 3-2. Yet again the boys were caught out at the back, this time a nice move from our opponents, that resulted in a goal to restore their 2 goal advantage, 4-2. Morso was having a great game, continued to push the boys forward, this time getting one on one with the keeper himself, but he couldn't find the finish. With the game coming to a close and our boys pushing to get something, third managed another attack, dodge was equal to the shot. And with that the ref called full time, a tough start to life in the premier for the boys, but if you don't take your chances teams will take advantage of you quicker than Jimmy Saddle took advantage of children's television, but all in all the boys played well, and with players coming back from holiday hopefully it won't be long, until we get our first points of the season, this is Cyborg Stan, later.